Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Today we're gonna to take a look at a new backpack from VanQuest. But before we do that, let's deal with the elephant in the room. I like people to be as informed as possible and really think about things when they're watching reviews on YouTube. I have made no bones about the fact that I am a big fan of VanQuest products. Probably about half of the things that I have reviewed over time from VanQuest, I've been provided by the company to review them. Mostly because they know I like their stuff. This one I'm mostly excited about because it. I first saw this at River's Edge Cutlery uh, here in my hometown, Columbus, Ohio. And they are the only real uh, VanQuest retailer in this area. And when I was in there buying those uh, Reiki knives, I was looking at their VanQuest stuff and I saw this pack. And I was like, I didn't know this pack was out. The last pack that I had that I still use was the Falconer or is it 37, whatever the newest one is. But that one is very much an organizational style pack. The two packs I've reviewed in the past that I really, really, really like from, from uh, VanQuest was the old Trident and the Ibex 30. This is the newest Trident. This is the Trident 31. And why I was so excited about this one is because it answered what I wanted from the first Trident, and that is to be a little bit bigger. So not only is this one a little bit bigger, but it's got all their updated features that they offer on their stuff now. And I've got this thing uh, pretty loaded up, and I've been hiking around with it, and it carries weight very well. So we're going to go into this backpack and what my use is for it and basically break down the whole thing and let you know if it's something that is going to work for you or not. So if you want to find out more about this backpack, don't go away. Now, as we go through this pack, I prefer, maybe it's because I'm a little bit lazy, I prefer to do this a little bit more fluid and organically, just going through and showing you stuff. So certain bullet points, even though I may not actually speak them, I'll try to put them all on the screen so we've got all the specific details. And if I miss anything, I will always provide links in the description box below so you can actually go to the website and just read it all yourself. So let's take a look at this pack. Now, hopefully the rain doesn't uh, get any worse. I'm doing pretty good right now because I'm under the canopy, but uh, it is picking up quite a bit. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this right here. I'll give you some of the, the main uh, key points about this pack. Uh, I went with black this time. I usually do the wolf gray, but I was kind of getting bored with it. It's like, yeah, we need to do something different this time. Let's go back to the basics. So this is uh, the Trident 31. This is their big brother to the uh, Trident 20, which has been around a couple years. So it's a larger, more versatile form. Uh, it's quick access, like a sling pack, uh, the way that they got the zipper set up. It's 31 liters total capacity, so it's 10 liters larger than the Trident 20. So like I said before, I really like the Trident 20 a lot. I just wish that it was a little bit bigger. Uh, 10 liters is a pretty good uh, amount of extra space than what we had before. It's got improved shoulder straps, extra back panel padding and removable padded waist belt. And this is something that I'm sure drives them absolutely freaking crazy when I do my reviews, but I always take the waist belts off. Uh, unless it's a big backpacking style backpack, where the waist belt is specifically there to help carry weight, I take it off. So at least this way you know that you can take it off. All right, Rain, you need to chill. It's got, uh, so it's got a padded main compartment, which we'll get into, four dividers, uh, so you can just set it up all sorts of different ways, and it can hold up to a 17-inch laptop. Uh, that's good, because I, I can tell you you know, the size that it was before, I have a 
I want to say a 13 inch MacBook Pro and that just barely fit into the old version and uh, it's starting to really pick up it's got the durable laser cut uh, Hypalon which I guess is some new awesome made up word uh, Molly Air panels and they're going to be on either side of the pack this is the uh, expandable zipper pocket so you can just shove a uh, like a 32 ounce bottle in there or you can use the add-on attachments that they make that are similar so uh, the construction is genuine 1000 denier mil, mil spec cordura fabric uh, except for like the multicam black if you get the multicam black it doesn't come in that it's going to be 500 denier cordura it's coated in DuPont Teflon. It's got ITW Duraflex hardware, lockable YKK zippers. Uh, the interior high visibility uh, section is going to be 210 denier ripstop nylon. It's got a hydration CCW compartment, main compartment, and it will let you carry up to six liters of water at once. Uh, the hydration hoses can be anchored to the left or right shoulder strap. So. You know, there's a section right here where you can bring out your hydration bladder, which I don't use them that often unless I'm going to be out for a very long time. And then you can clip it down here. So that's just like uh, the overall quick specs. Anything else important, I'll go ahead and add it into the video. All right, this is the uh, thickest amount of uh, tree cover that I got right here with the rain. So uh, doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and check out the compartment. So looking at the back here, got the VanQuest logo. Got a nice big section for your morale patches and more up here. And that was a big complaint I had about the last one. Uh, the last Falconer had like very little bit amount of place for patches. So go ahead and unsnap this. All of the zipper pulls are improved, and you'll see two different types on here. Now with these ones, you can actually feed them through if there's a section on here with the snap, and use that to lock them in place. I don't think I explained exactly what my purpose for this pack was. Uh, I decided to use this pack. This is going to be like my grab-and-go emergency pack. I'm still tweaking it, still working on it, trying to decide what I need, uh, how I want to kind of separate it between urban and woods type stuff and just a general emergency pack. So don't judge me too harshly on what I have or don't have. I'm still still working on this. As you can see here, that's, that's that 210 denier high visibility interior which is really nice especially when you have a dark colored backpack like this. So in this portion all I have is some uh, leather palmed mechanics wear gloves. Top portion up here you can shove some things in here you need to carry extra stuff with this uh, adjustable uh, bungee cord, elastic, whatever you want to call it. Generally what I do with these top compartments is I put like hygiene stuff so because I'm blind I'm gonna put a pack you know with extra contacts and stuff like that in there I'm going to put some wet wipes in there I need to clean sanitize my hands and I'm generally gonna put like my notebook and pen in there too and if I'm out in the woods that's also where I'm going to store my uh, keys even though there are some other pockets in here that have like little snap rings specifically for keys that's just where I put it. So opening the inner portion of this pouch. This is generally where I put my tool kit, so to speak. So in this portion right here, I've got some Leatherman Raptor shears. I've got a uh, Leatherman signal. Griffin pocket tool. Some people really like these things. Uh, I have not yet found a time where I actually needed it, but I got it in here in case I do, so I can try it out. Gonna have a backup blade in here, so this is gonna be a folder, and that's gonna be that uh, Reiki, which one was this? P128SF. 
So that's going to be my bag folder. I need a flashlight that also serves as a headlamp, which I still have not reviewed this. So this is an Olight uh, H2R. This is over 2,000 lumens. And I, it's going to be rechargeable, so I'll have the means to recharge this uh, in the bag as well. Need a water filter, so I got a couple of these Hydra Blue water filters that I recently reviewed. And I've got everybody's favorite expensive fire starter, the Lightning Strike. We've also got a pouch over here. So in there, I'm going to have an uh, Israeli bandage. Come on, Rain. you got, you got to work with me here. So this section here, oh, I need a cameraman today, uh, is made so you can sling this over and access whatever you need fast access to. This isn't currently set up like that for me, but you do have a, a Velcro pouch right here that you can put some stuff in. Let's go ahead and open this all away. When it's opened, got pouch over here. They they store pouch. They they find ways to put freaking pockets in these things all over the place. You've got this panel here where you can uh, use some of VanQuest modular attachments. I don't normally keep um, my Zubat in here, but I throw it in here if I'm coming out uh, to be in the woods. So it did mention that there are several of these padded dividers. I did not need all the padded dividers, so right now you only see one padded divider in here. And that where I stuck down here, what is this? Uh, dry bag, which is very pertinent right now since it's pouring rain. Uh, this has got fire kit stuff in it. I can tell just by feeling it. Fire kit and cordage. I used one of these VanQuest uh, CCW things that they got here for an anchor battery. So a quick disconnect, so I got a big anchor battery in there and I've got three USB cables because this particular anchor battery has three USB ports. I've got my personal first aid kit. This is not a VanQuest pouch, but I wish they would make one like this. This goes in and out of my stuff all the time. So if I'm using a Hidden Woodsman haversack for uh, going around town, I can just take it out and put it in there. And then I've got enough room in this pack that over here, I've got a Bark River JX5 Vengeful One uh, with the C2G Fab Kydex and Rick Lindsay Custom Ferro Rod. This is the section right here where you would put a laptop if you were going to put a laptop in here. So that is the main compartment. The closed cell uh, padding on the back, very generous, uh, works really well, very comfortable. I mean, I, not all tactical packs uh, carry weight all that well, and this one does it pretty good. Now this is the section where you would put your hydration bladder, or you could use it for carrying CCW stuff. Obviously not a quick draw option, but because this is a, just an emergency pack that I can throw in my bag, take with me, obviously I need to have one of my firearms in here. So, in there I have, using VanQuest's little modular accessories, got a Smith & Wesson shield with uh, three extra magazines. And then for a smaller utilitarian blade, which can also serve as a self-defense blade, I've got one of my own uh, JX4 bush bats with the C2G Fab uh, front pocket sheath. So that's the stuff that we put in here. So on this other side, this usually can sit flat if you're not using it, but since I am currently using this for a clean canteen, that does fit in there rather nice. Now when you're going to just not use that, this stows flat and the zipper comes up. That's right there out of the way. Behind that, 
There's another pocket. That's where I put uh, my holster for the gun because it's going you know, to dig in my back if I put it in the other area. So that's a blade tech uh, inside the waistband holster. And there's what I was saying earlier where you can clip in your keys. So that's pretty much all of the uh, pockets and compartments in this pack. Of course you have other things, just different points all over the pack where you can string things up and attach extra stuff and you got a nice generous padded carry handle here and you've got this extra piece which I don't know what the hell that's for maybe I put it there I don't know um, and then back here this is where you would have you would attach the waist strap if you were going to use that but I'm starting to lose the war when it comes to water getting through the canopy here so <laughs> I think we're about running out of time. Maybe I will add some extra stuff in here later. So there you go, that is the newest pack from VanQuest. And they generally end up on the Jessica list so much, it almost tends to lose meaning over time. But this one definitely, definitely, uh, right up there with the Ibex 30. Key thing about the VanQuest packs, and I've said this before, is it's not a universal thing. They're all good for different uses, different areas, different categories. Uh, I'm a big fan still of the Ibex 30. I don't have it anymore, honestly. Uh, once I got another pack, which has become my go-to woods pack, you know, it's a bigger, more traditional pack, uh, I ended up selling that because I can only have so many packs. And sometimes I have to let things that I like go in order to bring more things into the channel. But as far as the packs go, I, I've got this, which I'm very happy with. So glad they made a bigger version of the Trident. And I've still got the, uh, the Falconer 30, which is more of an urban, organizational style backpack. But yeah, this one, I know they're pricey, but this is one of those things where you get what you pay for. Plain and simple. Can you get a cheaper backpack and make it work? Of course you can. But quality costs. And as far as you know, the tactical style backpacks go, VanQuest has pretty much always been my favorite. Yeah, there's a couple other brands that have one or two packs that I'm interested in, but never gone wrong with any of the VanQuest stuff. They, they last, they take a beating good stuff yeah this one I'm, I'm really super happy with this one I think this is gonna be a great uh, large emergency kit style uh, pack for people and also it's big enough to be a very very good day pack if you're going out in the woods where it can carry enough weight without breaking your back that is a problem that a lot of tactical packs do try to put too much stuff in it this one carries weight really really well so I'm gonna have links to this in the description box below hopefully they're on Amazon so I can generate a link to help support my own channel uh, if not i uh, just send you straight to them uh, vanquest.com uh, and you can also look at some of the other accessories that you could get uh, to modularize whatever uh, pack that you go with all right, uh, my camera's getting wet, so I need to get out of here. Chris from Prepare My 101, thanks for watching. See you next time.